everyone and welcome back to my channel be yourself this is dr rajni sharma and today i will deal with the linking number after very long time i am interacting with you so from onward i will be regular uh, and uh, also csi examination is very near and i will deal uh, in every alternate is some of the topics which are going to be expect which is expected in this december 2017 so this is also one of the topic which is expected questions can come from this linking number as uh, one question was there in december 2016 and uh, before that 2016 and after that it is not got repeated so it may be chances that it will any of the questions related to the linking number can come in this upcoming examination so let's see what actually it is linking number is basically a topological property associated with dna and it remains constant for the dna it doesn't changes with the dna so it is known as topological property so actually it uh, defines or uh, it relates how uh, the two strand dna one strand get wrapped around or passes through the other strand how they are uh, uh, arranged and how one strand get wrapped around the other or or it get helix around the other so here i have you can see the two graph here one is having linking number 1 and another is having linking number of linking number of 6 how it come here you can see that in figure 1 on only one time the blue strand of dna has passed over the red strand of dna while in the second graph you can see that Uh, red strand of the dna has passed over the blue strand six times 1 2 3 4 5 & 6 times so here linking number is 6 so if we, it uh, the graph will not be given and it will not be rebel that how much time one strand is passing over the other strand then there is simple formula is there to calculate the linking number and uh, there is two way how the dna can one strand of dna can wrap around the other strand of dna, uh, DNA. one is the left handed and when it will be left handed on that case uh, linking number is uh, represented by the negative sign and when it is in the right handed way then linking number is represented as the positive so uh, the general formula associated with the linking number for a relaxed dna is that linking number is equals to the base pair per base pair uh, base pair per term so you might have remember that there are three form of uh, dna a b and z and each of our uh, uh, is having the same uh, a fixed amount of say, a fixed number of base pair per term okay so it doesn't get changed so linking number is a topological property so if it is not given the uh, base uh, linking number will not be given on that time this two if this two data will be given that how long the dna is what is the base pair of the dna how long it uh, it is or uh, what is the base pair per turn then you can easily calculate the linking number but uh, what happen when the dna will be in the super coil state it will not in the relaxed state so any dna will be in relaxed state and it will converted into the super coil when any of it is strand get disturbed or it, it get broken down so in that case there will be the change in the linking number so linking number in the super coil dna is called the specific linking difference denoted by uh, sigma or super helical density and it is equals to the change in the linking number by the linking number of the relaxed dna so these are the two formulas uh, on uh, on which questions can be asked now you have now uh, learned what is the linking number how to calculate the linking number and uh, i have told that it is the topological property so any dna suppose it is a relaxed dna having the linking number 100 and this dna has two topological uh, topoisomeric form differing only in the linking number suppose it is uh, this two dna which get converted into the super coil structure one is the positive super coil having the linking number of plus 2 and another is the negative super coil having the linking number of minus 2 so these two form of dna is known as topoisomeric as if these two differ only in their linking number as negative and positive another point is that one strand of dna can wrap around or can pass over the other strand of dna in two manners at the same time so how it get pass through it it get passed over the other strand 
by twisting itself and writhing itself. Writhing is just like the solenoid structure. So you have also seen the uh, helical structure of the DNA. You can see that at its, uh, 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 if you remember the graph of the DNA, then with each turn, uh, any uh, even if we any uh, thing which you will uh, wrap around other, then uh, there will be two types of uh, of movement. One is with the uh, twisting. You will twist one strand over the other to bend over that, and another will be that it will uh, make a solenoid structure over the other strand. So these two are the uh, turns which is associated with the two strand of DNA while uh, wrapping around itself. So linking number is actually the sum of these two types of foldings. So these were all about the linking number. Uh, so this was the English version of my lecture. Anyone having problem in the language can switch to the Hindi language that is given uh, a link is given in my description box. So that's all. Don't forget to subscribe and share my channel because from the from today onward we are going to deal with any of this uh, some uh, short short topics which is expected for the December 2017. So that's all for today. Goodbye and have a nice day.